the exercise we're going to be doing today, just going to, we're going to go through a nice full body, a um, couple of group sets with some cardio breaks in between. So that way we get a nice well-rounded uh, exercise going on. So what we'll be doing is just starting with no equipment because I'm not really sure what everybody's got today. And then if it turns out that we've got some household items, we can go ahead and uh, modify some exercise for the next time we go around. But um, with that being said, everything we will be doing, if you have any questions, you can just go ahead and ask me. And there's always modifications that we can do for each exercise. And if you have any questions uh, for afterward, feel free to uh, shoot me a private message or um, reach out through my contact info. All right. And with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. We'll start out with just a light warm up so we can kind of see where everybody's at, gauge some things, and then we will get going from there. All right. Okay. So how we're gonna go ahead and start today is just some light body weight squats. It's always nice to get the body going. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand nice and tall. I'm just gonna squat down to a comfortable height and then back up to the top. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and do this on with me and I'll keep time for everything. So the only thing you gotta do is just mirror me. Okay. All right, and when we're going here to our squats, you wanna make sure that you keep that chest up nice and high, only go down to a height that you feel comfortable and just back and forth. All right, we'll keep on going. And you wanna make sure that these knees don't buckle in on the way down. So always point it out slightly. Okay. All right. And now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna start warming up our hamstrings and our glutes. So you're gonna go ahead and stand straight. You're gonna keep your back nice and flat. We're gonna go ahead and reach on down to your toes and then stand up tall. We're gonna keep going back and forth here and then up. Nice. And again here, we're just warming up so you don't have to go super fast or super hard. We should just be feeling a nice stretch from the glutes and the hamstrings here. All right, next thing we're gonna do is go into a lunge. So with this, we're gonna go ahead and take one step forward. We're gonna have one foot back. You're gonna keep your chest up nice and high. And you're just going to lower yourself down to whatever is comfortable. So if that's just here, that's fine. Or if you've got that flexibility, you can go all the way down. And we're just going to go back and forth here. Looking good so far. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and switch legs. Same exact thing. One foot forward, one foot back. Chest up nice and high, and up and down. All right. We're going to go fit. Go ahead and finish with that one. Now we're going to take a nice wide stance, arms all the way out to the side. I'm going to take opposite hand to opposite foot. I'm going to move back and forth. So nice and slow, just a big stretch across the body and the hips. And finish there. All right, we're gonna work a little bit on balance next, continuing with our warm up. So what we're going to do here is we're gonna rock from our heel to our toe. So if you have something you need to hold on to, that's totally fine here. So I'm gonna rock back onto my heels. My feet are gonna come up off the floor and I'm gonna roll forward and then my heels are gonna come up. I'm gonna go back and forth. Okay, so you scoot those hips back, the toes come up, hips forward, the heels come up. And just back and forth, working on that balance. And again, if you need that extra help, go ahead and reach on out and hold on to the wall or anything close to you. We're just gonna keep on going here. And 
a little pause right there. And the last part of our warm up we're going to do here is we're going to go into some standing leg circles. So I'm standing nice and tall. I'm going to focus on my right leg here. And now I'm going to bring it up, out, and then down. Up, out, and then down. Here we go. We're just going to keep on going here. Nice and smooth. And with our leg that's not moving, you want to squeeze those toes into the floor as much as you can. Get that nice wide space of support. All right, we're gonna go same leg, but opposite direction. So we're gonna go out, over, and down. Like you're stepping on the inside of the fence. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. All right, so now this left leg, step on the outside of the fence, up, out, and down. And now on the inside of the fence, up, over, and down. And finish there. All right. So with that, our warm up is all set. And we're going to go ahead and start today with just a little bit of light cardio. So everything is going to be low impact. And the first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and reach on down to the floor and then reach up high. So hands reach down, then you stand, hands reach high. All right, we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. And here we go, two rounds. Reach on down to the floor, hands up high. Okay, and when you go here, you can get a nice little bend in the knees. So it's almost like a quarter squat on the way down, the butt goes back and then hands go up above the head. We're gonna get 10 more seconds. All right, and we're gonna go ahead, pause there, continue to work on some cardio here. And the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take a step out to the side, and then we're gonna slide that foot on in. Take a step out to the side, slide it on in. And here we go, we're gonna go 45 seconds and start back and forth. And when you go, feel free to drop the hips down a little bit more if you'd like a little bit of a leg workout. And if not, we're just gonna go side to side. All right. And this is all at your own pace. If I'm going a little too slow for you, you can of course speed it on up or go a little bit slower. Left and then bring that right foot on in and back and forth. There we go. 15 more seconds. And we're gonna go ahead, pause there, take a couple seconds to catch our breath. So as we're resting, you always wanna breathe in through the nose as much as you can. Control out through the mouth. So how are we doing so far? Good, yeah. All right, so we're gonna go do those two exercises one more time. All right, so again, we're gonna go ahead and reach on down to the floor and then reach high. And here we go. Again, scooting the hips back, nice bit of the knees, reach high. Almost there. 10 more seconds. And finish. 
We're going to take a couple of seconds, breathe on in. All right, now we got our side steps here again, 45 seconds, and here we go. Side step in, bring that leg to follow. After a while, you should start to feel it in the side of those hips a little bit here. 20 more seconds. And done. All right. So we can go ahead and take a small little break there. You can grab a drink of water or anything if you need it. Well, I'll go ahead and explain our next parts. All right. So that was our first little section of cardio. The next part we're going to do here is go into a little bit of strength. So just like we did with our warm-ups, we're going to go ahead and start with our body weight squats. So now that we're into a strength phase, we're going to pay a little bit more attention to our form here. So I'm going to go, I want to take my feet at a comfortable shoulder width stance. My toes pointing forward and a little bit outward. And I'm going to start here by scooting my butt back, keeping my chest nice and high. And go as low as you can comfortably and then up to the top. Okay. We're just going to go back and forth here for 15. And I'm going to go ahead and count it on out for us. All right. So here we go with number one. We go down and up. One. Nice and controlled. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, halfway there, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good job. Nice little shake on out. We're going to let ourselves recover a little bit. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into a single leg hinge. So we did these during our warm up, but with two feet planted. So now we're going to go into a staggered stance. So I'm going to have all my weight in my left leg here. My right foot's going to be back. My heel's going to be in the air. And if you need to hold on to anything for balance, go ahead and do so. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our hands, place them on our leg, and slide them down to, I would say, four to five inches below the kneecap, and then stand on up to the top. All right, we're going to do this 12 times. So here we go. Here's number one. And back on up. There's two. Okay, looking good. There's three. Four. Five. Six. And with this left leg, squeeze those toes on the floor as much as you can. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, one more, and 12. Good job. So you should feel it in those hamstrings, a little bit in the glutes. Now we're going to go ahead and switch legs. Same exact thing. So now my right foot is forward, left foot is back. Go ahead, place those hands in the legs and slide them on down a couple inches past the knee and stand back up to the top. There's one, one for 12. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, last one. 
and 12. All right, good, good, good. Nice little shake out of the legs. So now we're gonna go into a lunge, just like we did with our warm up. So we're gonna take one step forward, one step back. And with these guys, we're just gonna go for 10. So notice here, my chest is up nice and high. And you're just going to go ahead and slowly lower the hips down and then come on back up to the top 10 times. Okay, here's number one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and 10. Okay, relax the legs a little bit, shake them on out. We're gonna go ahead and switch feet, same thing. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Good, good, good. So that's round one. We're gonna do all three of those exercises one more time. All right, so go ahead, breathe on in, shake it on out. And we're gonna start with our body weight squats here for 15, number one. So get that stance ready. Shoulder blades back nice and tight. Knees pointed forward, and here we go. One, two, again, we're going for 15, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, five more to go. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, last one, and fifteen. Good, good, good. All right, next on up, we got our single leg hinges. One step forward, one step back, hands on the legs. Slide them on down below the knee and then stand on up. There's one. Let's go for 12 this time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. Good, good. Same thing, other side. Go ahead, get ready. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Nice, nice. Okay, last round of these leg exercises here. We got our lunges. One step forward, one step back. Chest stays nice and high. Going for ten. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch legs. All right, last time. Here we go. One, two, Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, good, good. Go ahead, relax a little bit. Take that little break if you need. And the next portion we're gonna do here is another round of cardio. But again, take an extra couple of seconds, get your heart rate back down a little bit while I'll explain the next part. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna go ahead, drive our knee forward. So all I want you to focus on is bring the knee up as high as you can, and then you take the step back. So we're gonna go back and forth here. So if you need to hold on to anything or a wall or anything like that, go ahead and feel free. So as for example, I'll just hold on to this desk. You're just working on driving that knee forward as much as you can. Notice the hips go back a little bit and they come forward as I drive it on up. We're gonna go two rounds at 30 seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready. And here we go, round one. Drive that knee forward. All at your own pace. The goal is just to keep moving a full 30 seconds here. We're gonna go ahead and switch legs. We're gonna try and keep it going. Another 30 seconds, here we go. Drive it forward. And relax there. There's round one. We're gonna do that one more time. So if that was a little bit too easy for you, one progression you can do, I have my clients work on, is you're gonna go ahead, drive the knee forward and come on up to the tippy toes and swing those arms with it. So again, that's only if the last one was a little bit too easy for you and you need a bit of a challenge. So we're gonna go ahead and do that one more round, 30 seconds on each side. It'll give us we're gonna start in five, four, three, two, and here we go. Drive that knee forward, 30 seconds. We're now gonna go ahead and switch sides. Same exact thing. Pick it back up and here we go. 30 seconds. And done. Very, very good. Go ahead and take another couple of seconds, catch your breath a bit. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start by doing some hip pulses out to the side. So we're gonna be standing nice and tall. We're gonna work on our side hips here. So again, if you need to hold on to a wall or a desk, it will require a little bit of balance, but you're just gonna stand nice and tall. I'm gonna look at my left leg to start here. And she's gonna go out and then back in. We're gonna go ahead and do this 20 times each side for two rounds, and I'll go ahead and lead us through this. All right, here we go. Out and down. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
and 20. Shake it on out. So the leg that wasn't moving should be feeling most of that exercise. So we're moving the left, so you should feel it mostly in the right here. Same exact thing, other side. So now my left leg still, right leg going in and out. 20, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Relax, nice little shake. One more round, each side. And here we go, opposite leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Other side, last time. Shake those legs on out, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good, good, good. So those sides of those hips should be burning up a little bit there. So take a couple seconds. We got one more standing exercise. And then the next half of the class is going to be floor exercises. All right, but before we get to that, the next thing we're going to do is pretty similar, but instead of out to the side, our legs are going to go back behind us. So we're going to be working our glute muscles here. So you're standing up nice and tall. You can hold on to the wall or a desk. This leg is going to go back and then you're going to bring it forward. We got two sets of 20 here as well. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So number one, one, two, three, squeeze those glute muscles as it goes back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Other side, same thing. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Nice little relaxation. One more round each, and then we're finished with this one here. So go ahead and get set up. Last bit. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Switch sides, very last time. Here we go. And number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good, good, good. So we're gonna go ahead and shake those legs on out. Next portion of our exercise, we're gonna go down to the floor here. So if you have a mat or anything like that, you can go ahead and set it on up. We're just some nice carpet space like myself today. And we're gonna go ahead and get started there. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start in a quadruple position on our hands and our knees here. And what we're going to do is work on what we call a bird dog. So I'm going to be taking my left hand and my right leg, and they're going to go in, out to the opposite direction, and back in. And you can go ahead and tap the floor. Or if you need a little extra challenge, we're going to be going back and forth with this. You can just bring them in without touching the floor. So we're going to go 15 on each side for two rounds here. So our goal, you want to keep the abs nice and tight and try to keep the spine as neutral as possible without wobbling too much from one side to the other. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started here. I'll lead us through this. So I'm going to go left hand, right leg for 15. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, same thing, other side. So right hand, left leg. And here it goes, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, you can go ahead and relax those hands a little bit, shake them on out, give them a little break. We're gonna go ahead and do that one more time. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready. Nice quadruple stance, shoulders over wrist, abs nice and engaged. I'm gonna start left hand, right leg, and here we go. Number one, two, going for 15, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Other side, last time, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good work. All right, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down on my side, give my hands a little bit of a break. So I'm gonna lay all the way flat. You can go ahead and get yourself nice and comfortable here. I'm gonna take my right knee forward, and we're gonna do some hip circles here. So I'm gonna take this left leg, and it's gonna go up, forward and back. I'm gonna go ahead and do this 12 times one direction. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the opposite direction. I'm gonna go 12 forward, 12 backwards. All right, so again, just nice and comfortable. Right knee forward, other leg straight. And here we go with our hip circles. There's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. 
We're gonna take the same leg, now opposite direction. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Good, good, good. We're gonna do one more exercise in this position here. So now I'm gonna bring both my knees back on top of one another. I'm gonna create some space in between the knees and we call this some internal rotation. So the knee's gonna stay in one spot and this ankle's gonna rotate up toward the ceiling. So we're really gonna work the side of our glute medius here. Do this 10 times. Here we go. One, two, three, Four, okay, this knee stays in one spot. Five, just that ankle goes up. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, good, good. So now we're gonna go ahead, roll on over to the other side here. So we're gonna do those three exercises one more round. Okay. So again, the leg that's under, you're gonna bring the knee up, leg that's on top, nice and straight. We're gonna start with our hip circles, forward for 12, backward for 12, and then we'll do our internal rotation for 10. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, here we go, opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. All right, now we stack both knees on top of one another, create some space in between. Now rotate that ankle up to the ceiling. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good, good, good. So those hips should be nice and tired by now. We're gonna work a little bit on our shoulders here. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll over onto my belly. I'm gonna be face down or you can have your head out to the side, whatever is more comfortable for your neck here. I'm gonna start with my hands forward like so. And I'm going to just pull my elbows down and then straighten them on out up to the top. So again, we're working on our shoulders muscles here. So you want to keep your shoulder blades nice and squeezed. Slide those hands down, palms facing the floor, but a couple inches above. We're gonna go back and forth for 15 here. All right, I'm gonna start with my hands up above, pull the elbows down, and here we go. And back up to the top. There's one, elbows down, and straighten the arms out. There's two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Relax those arms down. Okay. The next thing we're going to do. With just our hands, we're gonna imagine we're making some giant snow angels here. So my hands are straightened out above my head like so. I'm gonna elevate them to a couple inches up off the floor. And then I'm going to keep those arms straight, but then bring my hands down by my hips and then slide them back forward like a giant snow angel. We're gonna do this 12 times. Okay, so I'm starting hands out in front of me, raise them up off the floor, slide them down, and then bring them back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Relax those arms. We're going to do those two exercises one more time. So again, the first one was hands out straight, pull the elbows down. And the second one was some snow angels. So starting with number one, we got 15 here, hands out in front of me, pull them up off the floor, pull the elbows down by your sides, and then straighten out again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, almost there, 13, 14, and 15. Relax, relax. We got one last round of our little snow angels here. We're gonna go for 12. Again, starting position, hands out in front, nice and straight. Pull them up off the floor, slide them down by your hips, and then back forward. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Yeah, very good. So the back of those shoulders should be nice and fatigued by now. The next thing we're going to work on here is some push ups. So you can have a couple options here. You can do a full push-up if you have the means to do so. If not, what I'll be doing here is I'm gonna start them off of my knees. So with this, there we even have a couple progressions here. So you can start in a quadruple position and just lower yourself down as low as you can and then just push back up to the top while keeping those hips bent. So that's gonna be our number one option. Number two, you're going to straighten your body out so your shoulders are going to be in line with hips, hips in line with knees. You lower your whole body down as one, and then back up to the top. And number three, we got a full push up here, where you go full down and full on up. So whatever you feel comfortable with, we're going to go ahead and do two sets of 10 push ups. All right, so I myself, as an example, I'm just going to start in this quadruple position, just lower myself down, and then push back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. And 10, and relax those arms on down. Sometimes I like to drop my hips onto my heels, relax a little bit, give those hands a break. We're gonna go ahead and get ready, and we're gonna do that one more time. So, yeah, as an example, and bring myself into this quadruple position just for today. And then you just lower yourself down to whatever is comfortable, and then push back on up. Okay, here we go with number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very, very good. Relax those hands on out, shake them on out. We're gonna do one more exercise in this quadruple position here. But again, it's gonna be for our shoulders and a little bit of balance here. So I'm on my hands and my knees and we're gonna go into what we call shoulder taps. So I'm just gonna take my right hand, tap my left shoulder, bring it down, left hand and tap my right shoulder. So it starts out pretty easy, but what we really wanna focus on is what our abs are doing. So you wanna make sure they're nice and squeezed and that your lower back stays nice and flat here, as opposed to dropping down when the hands go from one to the other. 
So we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. So just find a nice, comfortable pace and I'll keep time for us. And again, all we're doing here, tapping one shoulder to the other. We got one round. All right, and here we go, 30 seconds. Tap back and forth, right and then left. Right hand, left hand. Keep those abs nice and tight, back nice and firm. 10 more seconds. And finish. All right, good work there. You can go ahead and take a couple seconds to drink some water if need be. Our next starting position is going to be on our back. We're gonna start working on our abs here. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna to start today, I'm gonna to lay all the way nice and flat. I'm gonna go knee to elbow taps. So I'm gonna take my right hand all the way out straight like so. I'm gonna take my right knee, right hand, and I'm gonna meet my knee and elbow in the middle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and straighten them on out. And with this hand, you can do whatever you want with it. You can be up above, down by your side, or across your chest. And we're just gonna go ahead and tap, and then straighten on out. Okay, we're gonna do this 12 times, and I'll go ahead and lead us through this. And here's number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, good, good, good. Now we're gonna go ahead and swap over to the other side, same thing. That hand goes out straight, knee to elbow, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Relax down, give the abs a little bit of a rest. We're gonna do that one last time. All right, I'm gonna start on my right side, right hands up above, right leg straight, bring them into the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, relax down. Other side, left hand out straight, left leg straight, meet in the middle, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and down. Good, good, good. Those abs should be feeling nice and tired by now. We're gonna go ahead and go a little bit lighter exercise here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tuck my knees on into my chest. I'm gonna be working my side abs here. So I'm gonna take my arms out to the side palms on the floor, and I'm gonna roll my body over to the left, and then I'm gonna bring it to the right. We're gonna go back and forth here. And if this is a little bit too easy here to spice it up, you can go ahead and straighten out the legs. And we're gonna go one side and to the other. All right, we're gonna do this all at your own pace for time here. We're gonna go 30 seconds left to right. Here we go. And I like to have my hands down here and elbows and push into the floor as my legs go to the opposite direction. And if you can, try to keep those knees together and just left to right. 10 more seconds. And 
and down. Good, good. All right, letting those abs recover once more. The last thing we're gonna do for our core here is I'm gonna go ahead, bring my knees on up, my hands on into the air like so. And then I'm gonna take my right hand and my left leg. I'm gonna go ahead and flatten them on out and then bring them on back in. And I'm gonna go right leg and left hand and knees opposite go out and then back in. So opposites. So take a little bit of coordination. I want you to go ahead and try this on your own. We're gonna go for 10, 30 seconds here. And we're gonna start now. Opposite out and in. And as one leg goes out, the other one stays on the air if you can. We'll go 12 more seconds here. And down. Good, good, good. Okay. So next on up, we're going to roll ourselves forward. We're almost finished here today. Now we're going to go ahead and finish on up with some hip exercises. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and tuck my knee on in nice and close. I'm going to take my left hand back here. So right knee is bent. Left hand is back on the floor for some support. And with this leg, I'm just going to bring it up and down. We're going to do this 10 times. And our goal here is just to keep the heel off the floor as much as we can. And I'll go ahead and lead us through this. So again, this leg straight, bring it up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, good. We're gonna do two more exercises before we switch. Now this leg is gonna go out to the left and back in like a windshield wiper. So heel up off the floor, out, and then in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. All right, our very last one. It's a little bit more difficult. We're just gonna take this knee, tuck it in, kick it out straight, okay? And here we go. So tuck the knee in, kick it out straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, that was a tough one, especially the last one. Now we just gotta do it on the other side and then we will be all set. All right, so now left knee is in, right hand is back on the floor for some support. First one we got, up and down for 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now it's gonna move like a windshield wiper out to the side, back in. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, nice, relax. Last one, hardest one, tuck the knee in, kick it out straight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and done. All right, and with that, we are all finished with our workout for today.